Good evening. We will now call the special called meeting of August 25th, 2020 to order. This is the Beaufort County Board of Education. We have a need to approve the agenda. Do we have a motion? Move, we approve the agenda. A second? I'll second. Okay. All right. All right. Do we have any discussion? Do we have any discussion? All right. Is voting now open, Robin? Yes. Okay. Yes. Robin, I'm going to vote yes. I just closed my board docs. I'll open okay. Back. Now, yes. I got you. Robin, I too am going to vote yes. I don't have my board docs Thank open you. right now. Okay. Um, don't see Melvin Campbell on. Yeah, I didn't see Mel either. Okay. And Rachel's not participating. Rachel, and she's not participating. So. Um, uh, Mr. Earl raising his hand. Mr. Smith? Yeah. He's muted. He needs to be unmuted, I think. Uh, yes, I was going to make the announcement that um, Mr. Mel had some personal um, things that he had to take that he had to take care of today. Um, we were so, some medical some medical things that he had to take care of, so he was that's why he's he won't be here today. Thank okay. you. Um, Mr. Earl Campbell, how are you voting? Yes. All right, the motion uh, is approved unanimously, nine members present. All right, can you go back to the agenda? I believe it is now <laughs> the Pledge of Allegiance, yes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic, for which it stands, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Liberty and justice for all. All right, we are now ha are going into executive session. Um, so Robin, it looks like we have uh, some. We need a motion to go and yep, then we can keep... go into, yes, please. A motion so to go moved. into executive session. So moved. That was Mr. Earl? Yeah. Okay, a second. I'll second it. That's Ms. Fidrich. Okay. <clears throat> And let me get this. For some reason, my display is really strange all of a sudden. Um, do we have any discussion of going into executive session? Uh, Mr. Dowling is raising his hand. Mr. Dowling? Um, yes, okay. I, I believe the motion should state the purpose of the executive session instead of so moved. Okay. It does on the screen here. How yeah, it has to be stated by the chair, according to the okay. law. Okay, so motion to go go into executive session, well, really should be stated by the person who gave it. Mr. O. Campbell, I'll let you state it. I'll make a motion that we go into executive session discussion on RFQ, forensic audit proposal pursuant to South Carolina Code, and, and then section 30-4-70A, Two. Thank you. And Ms. Fidrich, you second that? Yes, I did. I'll second that. Thank you. All right. So, Robin? Yes, ma'am. I'm typing it. Okay. Thank you. It should be at Sonner. Thank you. Are we ready to take a vote or yes. you want me to? Mm -hmm. yes. Madam Chair? Yes. My my hand's been up for a while. Go ahead. 
Okay, just a, just a process question for this evening. Um, if we do, obviously we can't discuss process in executive session. We can only uh, discuss the specifics of the um, uh, responses received. But if we do have process questions, would you like us to ask them now prior to going in or when we come out? Well, I'm not sure your statement is correct that we cannot discuss process because we're serving as the RFQ committee, uh, the, the uh, well, the nine members that are present. So I'm gonna defer to uh, Kaylee Yinger because I saw she was on here. Um, uh, uh, the proper answer to that in terms of procurement. Let's see if we can get her unmuted. There she is. <clears throat> I'm here, Madam Chair. Oh, did you hear the question? I did not, if you could repeat it. Ms. Orishak said that we are not allowed to discuss process in the executive session um, and that we can only discuss the proposals. And I, I, my comment back was, I'm not sure that's accurate given that we're serving as the RFQ committee for, these, for this forensic audit. <laughs> The RFQ committee will be the deciding factor on who is chosen and you will discuss the proposals and you would score the proposals. And then you would come to as a whole as a committee, you would conclude who the chosen firm would be. Um, again, I think we discussed this in the last meeting that we had um, the difference between Robert's rules and the procurement code kind of muddy the waters there just a bit. So what about, we have to determine the questions that the uh, we're gonna ask of the interviewers. We have to determine the questions we're gonna ask for recommendations, because they have to be similar uh, to, uh, to all groups. So no, I would, is that, where would that be discussed? The committee would convene and discuss as a whole what questions will be asked to the uh, firms for interviews. And you're saying so executive session or public session? What would the committee normally do? When an RFP or an RFQ or any committee for procurement meets, it is never a public session. It is never? Never. Thank you. May I ask a clarifying question? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, there's a little noise. Can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So if I needed to ask, for example, um, how did all of these proposals come in? Who received them? Um, it, does this represent the total number received? When I am referring to process questions, I'm referring to that, those types of uh, questions. And so I just would want to know where they would be, those types of questions would be appropriately asked. Those uh, questions can be discussed amongst the committee in executive session, but to anybody who is not on the committee, that information would be available after a contract is signed and via a FOIA request. Dowling? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, yeah, I agree with everything that's been said, except for one thing. We. Uh, the Board of Education. We are a governmental body subject to the Freedom of Information Act. The Procurement Code does not trump the Freedom of Information Act and a evaluation committee from on an RFQ is not subject to FOIA, but we are. We can't call ourselves something else for the purpose of this meeting and dispense with, F with FOIA. That's just not possible. So uh, I think the question from Ms. Orshak was appropriate, but I would like everyone to know that this is first and foremost a board meeting of the board and we have to obey by the lawful board rules. Do you want to respond to that, Ms. Um, Yinger? Because we are serving as the procurement committee, so there, there are other rules that are, that are uh, present as well. Yes, ma'am. This is the same um, issue that we addressed previously with the um, board meeting or the board being part of a committee um, mm -hmm. and where the Roberts rules and executive session and the procurement code conflict. Um, and unfortunately, I do not have a clear answer for you on that because traditionally a board does not serve as an RFP, RFQ, RFI 
committee. Does Mr. Yeah. Murphy have anything to add? Mr. Murphy is muted. Sorry. I, I, um, well, the problem is you have competing laws here. You have procurement laws and you have FOIA laws. And they're, they're in conflict in this particular case. You need a judge to rule it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Madam Chair, may I yes, respond? Sir. There's no problem with what we're doing tonight. I'm just trying to clarify the point that we have to first and foremost pay attention to the rules that govern us as a school board. And that's not Robert's rules, that's the Freedom of Information Act. Robert's rules are guidelines, the Freedom of Information Act is a law. So the question was not around Robert's rules, the question is, how much do we have to say or should we say in public? That's that's all. That's all. There's no reason for anybody to, to have any angst over. All right. Uh, we have the motion on the table. We and we're now voting is open. Yes. Dowling votes yes. George votes yes. Mr. Earl Campbell, how are you voting? Yes. Oh. Mr. William Smith, how are you voting? I, vote, I voted yes. I voted already. You didn't get it? It it went. I I have it now. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, motion carries unanimously. Good evening. We are now back in public session. And do we have any action as necessary uh, coming out of executive session? Yes, Madam Chair. Go ahead. I move, I move that the Board of Education schedule interviews with company A, B, C, and D as discussed Second. in executive session for September the 3rd. Second. Second by David Stewart. Oh, se September 2nd. Excuse me. Thank you, David. Yeah. And do we have any discussion, Mr. Dowling? No, I think okay. that all four proposals that we received are worthy of examination by the board and it will improve the public's confidence in us that we've done a thorough and diligent job. All right, can you put your hand down please? Your electronic hand, thanks. <laughs> sure. All right, any further discussion? And so I'll let Robin display it on the screen so we can see it. So the motion is that the Board of Education schedule interviews with companies A, B, C, D for September 2, 2020. And so the public knows these will actually be in executive right, right, right. and will not be open to the public. So um, we can now go to voting. I'm yes, Robin. Voting is open. Yes, Robin. I lost my authentication. You can make me yes. Okay. <laughs> Mr. John Dowling. Okay. Um, William's hand is up. Mr. Smith? Uh, I will say yes, please. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Not very well. I said yes. Okay, me. thank you. Um, and John Dowling? Okay, I 
Oh, I'm back. Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Motion carries unanimously, 9-0. All right. Do we have any further action as necessary coming out of executive session? I have my hand, hand up. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, I move that the BCSD board utilize the interview questions as discussed, striking number three and adding the four additional questions. Uh, second. Okay, Mr. Strivinger, second. Ms. Robine? Yes. Oh, your hand. Oh, I just, I just okay. didn't take it down. Sorry. Okay. So we'll let Robin display that before we vote. Yeah. Motion that the BCSD utilize the interview question striking number three and adding the four additional questions. Right. That the BCSD Board of Education, please. So Jess, can you take out BCSD and put in Board of Education? Yeah, there's, she, she's added it, yeah. Okay. Is that good, Kathy? Yes. Okay. So the motion is that the Board of Education utilize the inter interview questions, striking number three, and adding the four additional questions. Uh, do we have any dis further discussion? Ms. Orshak? Kathy, were we adding all four or just three of the additional questions? I, I thought we had landed on four, all four of them. Okay, that's good. Because that, that brought us up to 12 questions. Exactly. Okay. All right. There being no further uh, discussion, voting is now open. Dowling, yes. Squads, yes. Yes. William, yes. <clears throat> Could you hear me, Robin? Yes, I got it. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate you. A motion carries unanimously, 9-0-0. Do we have any further um, action as necessary coming out of executive session? Ms. Robine? I'll ask the raw officers. Ms. Robine? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Mr. Smith? No, ma'am, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Do we have a, a motion to adjourn? Move we adjourn. Second, somebody? Second. I'll second. All right, Tricia was seconding. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you and good night. Good night. Now adjourn.